Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning, beans. How are you today? <laughs> and eternal, I mean, this isn't the first time knowing your chair. Of course, you noticed that spec. <laughs> yeah, doesn't work on this screen. But you know what? For you, I'll switch over real quick. Here, this is my tail room. There, just for you. And yes, thank you, Shaky. I'm actually really happy with my new lobby. But I gotta, gotta give him tail first. It's been a while since I had the tail cam. <laughs> yeah, hold on, that one is on me. Up oh, or not. Yeah. I suppose it's one way to start the day. Are you today? Hi, hi. Oh, I'm in a good mood. <sighs> yeah, I, d I decided I don't want to go back to something normal today. And exactly, Bright Month starts. <laughs> Maybe I should just keep this on permanently throughout Bright Month. Disco Moxie Month. But yeah, what am I doing today? Oh, if you've been here yesterday, you know, because I'm, you know, I have the package of whatever I'm playing over here. So you know what I'm playing today. <laughs> yeah, I know that doesn't work if I play demos. And yes, if you weren't here on Monday, you will also probably not recognize this face, this chubby little face here. That would be our dear Wear Barista, who managed to solve our last puzzle and won a free pass to Ferality. Which, by the way, starts on Friday. Yes. Ferality comes on Friday. And not yet, not yet, Eternal. I will put in the ad soon. Yes, I will have... Yes, you, you see, I, I wanted to put point down there, but I don't think you can actually see where I'm pointing. Um, I do have a tag for no mid-roll ads. Well, I suppose I live here now. Uh, yeah, I have a tag for no mid-roll ads, and I will add mid-roll ads. Yes! <laughs> but it's okay, they're all gonna be retro and silly, so it's... I'm gonna have that probably ready for Friday. I have a good database by now. But yeah, I'm not gonna argue. Tail cam is always a good way to start. <sighs> but yeah, what are we doing today? I felt like something completely out of the ordinary, so we're playing demos today. I've prepared five different demos, out of which you can maybe guess one if you have um, kept up with demos. It will have dogs and cats and brutal murders and just... Yes, the third demo is going to be ultra brutal. I really look forward to it. <laughs> but there go the Bork. <laughs> My, yep, big dog just came home, little dog didn't like. So my apologies for Borgs. <coughs> woo, woo, woo. <laughs> you see, if I could make dog sounds the way Seek could make fox sounds, then this would have sounded a lot better. <laughs> uh, so, wait, today is World Otter Day. Let me check. Um, my god, it's a lot of things today. Okay, how, how about we go through this, huh? Oh wait, I don't have a way to go through this. Huh, I just noticed I never added a browser source. Well, hold on, let, let me fix it in the most professional way while we're in the middle of the stream. Yeah, you, you don't see anything. Warp, there we go. It's 
funny because I prepared a browser and then didn't set up the macro I need to open it. But yeah, look at these days. It's the National Macaroon Day. And the Autonomous Vehicle Day. And the Verizon ad in the background day. The National Fisher Folk Day. The National... F no, please not. Don't. No. The National Save Your Hearing Day, the, the National Senior Health and Fitness Day, the National Smile Day, and the National Speak Incomplete, and the National Utah. The Necrotizing Fascists Awareness Day? Did you know flesh-eating bacteria is a thing? Now you do. The Scripps National Spelling Bee. <laughs> uh, wow. I didn't didn't think that is that exists outside of comedies nowadays. Um, the Web Designer Day. If you're a Web Designer, yes, we honor you. Look at oh my god, just stop the ads. That's what happens when I have a browser without ad blocker for five minutes because I use a different browser for the stream. What do you think upon crows day? The, the crap. What even is this? What do you think upon crows day? World No Tobacco Day. Like, how does this? How does this continue? We so the otters and the, so what if you're an otter parrot? Then you have a really good day today. The is Celia Banks who? <laughs> Clint Eastwood, yeah. Congrats, please don't. I mean, wait, is he still alive? Is Clint Eastwood still alive? Oh my god, he's 93 years old. No comment about that guy. And Colin Furey and... Mm -hmm. Waka Flocka Flame. We shall... We shall remember Waka Flocka Flame forever. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's World Otter Day. Let's just say it's World Otter Day. World Otter Day is probably the most important thing in that whole list. Unless you are really into flesh-eating bacteria, then today must be a very special day. <sighs> but yeah, um, hi. <laughs> uh, lengthy intro. Waka Flaka Flame. Wait, was it Waka, Waka Flaka Flame? Is that what he's called? Waka Flocka Flame. You know, maybe rap and hip hop just isn't my corner, but that is a shit name. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> Flocka. Uh, my, my apologies if anyone likes that name, but I think it's silly. But yeah, uh, before we get started, I do want to thank thank actually three people. No, two. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna thank two. I forgot the third. <laughs> because Senri Wolfer and Muscle. Um, followed me yesterday and at least you know uh, now, now I lost the train of thought <sighs> welcome to Moxie's stream that's just what I do that's that's me hi but I do think it, it's time to move on and actually play a game so let's hop on over to our game screen There we go. So first game we're gonna play today was highly suggested to me by... I, I was about to say Golden Fam. <laughs> uh, by Eternal Fam, the Golden Record Retriever. Uh, I... Let me guess, it's doing something really dumb. Well, I mean, look at that. Now, today we're just playing demos about dogs, cats, and other weird animals. So, you will see a lot of dogs and cats today. I have a long list to do. Yeah, let's just see what we have, because I am actually jumping into all of these cold, because I'm really curious. I mean, the only thing I set up was the graphics to make sure it works. 
So keyboard game, or is this a... no? I'm always looking for new games to play and... Once upon a time on the planet Earth, there lived a man named Paul. Oh my god, look, look at this. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> yeah, they are all bats. <laughs> look at, look at this, the tail work, oh my god. Paul admired the universe with a strong belief in extraterrestrials. As a successful inventor, Paul owned a huge amount of wealth. In a few years, his fortune turned into a small spaceship. Finally, the spaceship was launched into space with hundreds of golden records on board. On the records, Paul recorded his warm greetings to his alien friends. Soon after, Paul became ill. He had nothing left, no family, no money, but a dog. Leaving behind a shabby house, a rusty golden record and a homemade board game, Paul died. In the meantime, Paul's spaceship and golden records were on a journey across the universe. And then the trouble began. Eventually, an angry group of aliens arrived at Paul's house only to confront his dog. This is such an adorable way of telling a story. When the dog realized what Paul had really left behind, the aliens took him into space. The universe is where countless dice are rolled, River. Possibilities gather to make tremendous movements. So, go ahead and pick a die, River, and roll it. The whole universe is waiting for you. Yeah, now I'm really curious. This does sound adorable. Well, it's... That's a very simple die. Okay, a problem or scene I'm in. I can barely see. Solution. Each quest has a requirement. Complete the requirement to use the quest. Actions that you can choose to deal with the situation. Okay, so... These six dice sides create crit. Bark once very carefully. Create one new aura. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense um, when you always have the the bad translations, but it does make sense so far. So create one new aura. It's a trace of activity. There are three colors, wisdom, crit, and ruse. One box contains up to four auras. Oh, what's the noise? Are you up? Be quiet and keep silent. Click to remove auras from the board and return dice to the queue. Okay, yeah. So as long as we hold the dice, nothing is happening. 
Did I hear wrong? I was going to give you some food if you're awake. <laughs> okay, now I have to check. Um, no. No. <laughs> okay. This this is not gonna this is not gonna roll, Alex. I don't think this is something I can secretly do in Denver. So I have two options. I can either get arrested with a pound of cocaine. <laughs> uh, some of which I keep on a stack of bacon. <laughs> Or I can steal an alligator from a golf course and try teaching it a lesson by throwing it off the roof of a bar. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna roll. I don't think people are gonna be okay with me doing these things. <laughs> uh, I mean, here's something I can do. I can write myself a check and then... Um, on unrelated notes, Florida man tries to conceal $1,000 of cash in rectum. <laughs> there. Now, if you have good Google Foo, you know my birth date. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's let's just do the last one with a check, shall we? <laughs> like maybe a Walmart money order. <laughs> uh, this I, this was this was not an okay distraction. <laughs> uh. Okay, uh, kick my front paw again. Use it successfully to end this situation. Okay, so I gotta roll again. So I heard right. You're awake, aren't you? Before I feed you, I need to ask you something. I haven't figured out what language family you belong to. So I don't want to sound, um... I will sound uneducated, but... Is this Korean? This doesn't... This doesn't sound right to me. I mean, I haven't listened to a lot of Korean, but I've watched a few Korean things, and... This sounds more like a fake language. I've, I wish Avi was here right now. <laughs> Okay, Alex, so I don't have to copy Florida, man. That is that is a good news because I wouldn't even know where to get a pound of cocaine. <laughs> Besides, I don't like bacon. Okay, bark loudly to demand food. So I need to roll. Oh, this, this dies. This, this dice. This die? This die. Now has... This dies. Now dice is plural, isn't it? Singular is die. This die has now a special skill of comes back once per try. So I roll this. And then I roll this again. And... Then... Do I have to pull it back? I suppose. No? I tried pressing space, but space didn't do it. Yeah, I, I just noticed. I think I have to roll into the same field, don't I? There we go. That's what I have to do. Or not. Oh, you mean like this? Is this how it counts? Oh, I see. Oh, because these are... Uh, okay, so these are squares... 
I suppose that refers to each of these squares. Trap quest. Avoid this. There will be damage as soon as its solution is fulfilled. Lick something and get shocked. Yeah, I'm not Dalton. But that means I can't press space now. Can I? Well... Um... Yeah, but how do you proceed? Oh. oh, so I have to click this. I thought you have to press space. Space doesn't work. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. I just had to click it. Oh, I, I feel like I'm so clumsy in this. Is that all you know how to speak? Then you can't be vocalim, the vocal language users. Yeah, that's not Korean. That's not even fake Korean. Seeing your meaningless kick, you can't be Gester either, the users of movement language. Okay. So I now have... Dash and finish. So I have a 50% chance to get blue or green. And then I roll it onto a spot where it is completely pointless anyway. <laughs> now it seems to me that you're a gustati. One who, who, one who uses tasting language. Uh, where do I learn this? Where do I gain the ability of tasting languages? But I've never seen a Gustati with a coat as silky as yours. Sniff to find anything. Okay, so first this goes here. Nope. This goes here. Nope. This goes here. Nope. Are they just... Yeah, I don't think the rolls are randomized, are they? Doesn't look like. Oh. Yeah, I suppose that helps, doesn't it? This is a weird game. I like this. So, Dash... ...shows wisdom. A die enters the board when it has no dice. And Ruse is when I enter it myself. And Finish is a die enters the board when no dice are left in the queue. So I have to use these two first. Then this one is green. Sniff to find anything. Yeah, I like this. This is interesting. Aha, you smell something. I knew it, you're an Otra. So the fate of the universe in the hands of a hormone maniac. Check if there's another alien, so I need to create three green. Okay, so that means this one I can't use at all. Okay, oh, I see. But that means I can't use this because this needs a finish. So I can't use this until the others are done. Um, yeah, but I can't do this immediately. So I have to first... And since red is no failure, I need to create red. So I have that dice gone. No, 
not. If I place this now, it would be blue. So I can't. So I would have to place this. Let's see what happens. Yeah. But why is this also three green? This blows itself and the others up. Okay. Ventilation mode activated. Complete all the solutions to the linked quests at the same time. Okay, so I need... Yeah, it, it sounds like it might be a fake language, loosely based on something like that, but there is nothing recognizable German in there. I, I would be curious if Evi was here um, to see if he feels this is like a fake language based on Korean. It's like, you know, if you hear Simlish, like Simlish sounds a lot like English if you don't know English. Like if my, my mom, wouldn't know the difference. Well, I mean, maybe nowadays she would, but... So I feel like if this is like a Korean Simlish, you'd hear the same patterns, but yeah. Anyway, uh, we need a blue. We need a red. So if we do this, and then we do this, and then we do this, we should get a green. Oh no, this just gives us an extra green, doesn't it? Yeah. So where do we get the second red from? Pushes, pushes. What happens if you push? Let me test this. Okay, nothing if it can't roll. telling me I should pick you first? Are you just hinting because I'm bad? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So if I first do blue, I only need one green. But where do I get the second red from? Let's try it in this order. Yeah, where do I get the second red? Uh, this, oh yeah, it would probably help if I put the links in, wouldn't it? Hold on, let me actually link the game directly. This is the Golden Record Retriever. I felt like it wasn't worth uh, changing the title since I'm going through a lot of demos today. And I don't think this is too long. But it's definitely interesting. I'm just generally not good at these games. But you know what, um, let me move my character over. Oh, there we go. And I'm gonna scoot over here so you can see the hints. I just noticed that it would make a lot more sense if I don't obstruct those. So yeah, we have the red dice. Die. And that one creates one red and pushes the one next to it. We have the green one. 
that counts the dice on the board and re-rolls itself. So we get as many green ones as we have. And we have the blue green one. Dash is when I throw it, then I get blue. And finish is when I throw it as the last, then I get green. Am I that dumb? Or is this... Like... Am I not getting where the second red comes from? Yeah, but I can't take this back because that is no longer a thing. It lost the ability. Oh, I thought I need two. I need one for each. Do I only need one? So I don't, I don't need the correct amount, I need them in the correct alignment. That makes it a lot easier then. So I can put the... Let's think. Yeah, I think if I put this here, and then put the red here. Yep. And then put the green here. So yeah, they just need to be in the correct alignment. I assumed I need two red. So squeeze my head into a narrow crack and flatten my body to the most. Did you hear that? Hey, Terran Ultra. How did you get out? I left for a minute to bring Kras, but you managed to escape. You really are an Ultra. Reckless. This is Kras Extract. You'll be collecting golden records traveling around countless planets. And this Extract will protect you from dying from rejection. Yeah, look, look at this cookie. Look at this beautiful cookie. Why is it glowing? This is also the perfect cookie music. Oh wait, now, crap, now this doesn't work, <laughs> because I moved the avatar, okay. But look at this cookie. Blah, 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 blah. Wait, I gotta lean forward for that. Oh, no, come on. There we go. <laughs> I'm sitting in a slightly different position today, and immediately it's making me pay for that. It's been long. Oh, Woofy, do you recognize me? You're a potato. We don't know each other personally. I was wondering if you recognized our species. I'm Menzor. From the Cosmic Security Organization. I'm also the head of the Golden Record Retriever Operation. So it was my idea to kidnap you for this operation, but there's a problem. I hear Crass Extract doesn't work on you, but don't look relieved. Although you can't physically enter planets, you're still responsible for retrieving. You're still responsible for retrieving the golden records. This is Amenti, your partner. It'll brief you on your first mission soon. I was meaning to give you something. You held on to this even when you were kidnapped. It's time to go down, Wolfie.
Hi, Terra and Otra. Great to see you again. I'm a mentee. We met at the station earlier, remember? This is the cabin of our ship. What a wonderful place to start our journey, right? I'm actually shaking a little because this is my first mission. I was created only three days ago. It must be Abetti's first too, right Abetti? Whee! Okay, so I have a grass-free clockwork Abetti dice. Die. With a... Okay, it is highly intelligent and has a good judgment. Was stuck doing odd jobs despite being multilingual and never reached full potential. Will continue to do odd jobs until the day this diamond in the rough is discovered. A multi-purpose robot with wasted potential, poor thing. Arbet is a field agent who will do actions on our behalf. As you command, he'll be rolling around with other teammates. <laughs> Ah, I'm sorry, that, may, that that is good. Rolling around. <laughs> a golden record in the river. In this mission, your destination is the planet Habadon. Go to Habadon and retrieve the golden record from deep in a river. The planet is soon to be transformed into a grass farming planet by the Cosmic Safety Management Organization. To create the right environment, the natives have all been relocated to neighboring planets. The Daphidum River, where the record is located, is very wide and deep, so be prepared for long, deep dives. Read the mission book for more details. Since this is the first mission for all of us, I thought we should start with at least two field agents. So I took the liberty to request reinforcement. We got barred. A shining beacon of resp responsibility. Used to be a pro Brisney player, but never really took off in popularity. Got his nickname from how his ads were always on the back covers of famous magazines. Also because he was always the last runner in the match during his sports career. <laughs> Oh, because he rolls three times, I see. How are so... Look to your left. I just wanted to say that's on my right. <laughs> there, look to my left. With this teammate board, whenever you need the details of your teammates. And don't worry about the empty seats, they'll be filled soon. This map shows, shows our route. These pins here are the planets. And the next planet will be Daigo. There I found two potential cadets who might be helpful to us. I do like how my hand has a very clear claw. <laughs> this is such an adorable game. Okay, get a new teammate. Only one can be our teammate, either Kane or Boy. Well, let's make your choice when you enter the situation. Well, it wants us to take the butt essen. But 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 essen. Its box isn't refreshed on retry. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, he's a butt essen. But but essen. Move the cursor over to retool tips. Wait, but at least let me choose which one I want. 
Oh, the Cosmic Security Organization just sent us two packs of crass. We'll need it if things don't go our way. Don't try to waste it though. We'll have to do extra work to earn more if we use it all up. Okay, cadets. Only one of them can make a teammate. Remaining crass, but I, no, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna look at their story. There. A test subject who dropped out some out of some research to improve the standard of galactic life forms. His vitality and endurance made him a valuable test subject, but he escaped the lab because he was too boring. Okay, or wait, what did I click? Oh, I clicked here was an ordinary boy, but went to prison 18 times for accidental murder. <laughs> His uncontrollable oversized body crushed far too many lives. Who knows what poor thing might be lying under him even now. <laughs> I'm cute crash, by the way. Uh, yes, he is. He is indeed. Okay, uh, do we want the Bardessin? Yeah, I just want... Uh, I'm sorry, I, I like him too much. I'm gonna keep him. Sir. Your hat has arrived. Yay! Party hat. It's a good party hat. Knack them relentlessly, plus ear covering boy. I have no idea what I'm looking at here, but... Retrieve a golden record from under the Daffodum River on the planet Harbodon. Oh yeah, I, I get that, but... Like, why ear covering and dangling? Is that their titles? I didn't see those titles anyway. Oh yeah, let's... Let's roll Bart. Nelson. Okay, yeah, we got Kane. Why did I only get one of them? Yeah, I thought I could only get one, but it then didn't. I, I expected I would be able to choose. Ah oh well, now I have Kane. That's fine. <laughs> That's why it's a demo. Okay, so we have Roland. Went insane one day and was forced to retire. Ended up becoming a space wanderer. Goes around mumbling unintelligibly and always responds with irrelevant nonsense unless he feels like it. Okay, so we have the mixed ones. They are all relatively evenly mixed. Creates a clue if not blocked moves in the pointing direction and rerolls. And does the same for Crean, or we got a nose worm, Hoot. Whirls three of the teammates in the queue and makes them enforce sides. Control freak that loves using smells. Ever since he personally controlled eight Ultra to create an octagonal relationship of eight. <laughs> He became the most infamous nutshop known to this kin. His love for controlling others is seen as blatant and tasteless. I wanna have Roland. Let's see what we have. We met the cadets, but they are a bit annoying. They heard from somewhere that you're an Otra and they're complaining about it. The cadets don't want an Otra commander. They would rather die than follow the orders of another Otra, let alone coexist with them. 
Okay, so if I want... Then I have to get a blue and a green. Okay, a blue and a green. How do I ensure this? I don't think I have a way to force this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with Bard up here. And he gave me a green. But... If I roll here now and I get green... Tried. Oh, worked. <laughs> Gotta have a bit of luck. Yeah, that makes sense. Shall we head to Leon's? Someone from there sent us an SOS. We can make two packs of grass if we accept it. Client is in tears because someone broke her doll. Whoever did it tore the doll into pieces. We received 19 crafts. That sounds like a lot. So carefully sew it together. Or I get a worse result. Okay, so we want a green and a blue. Since he can't do reds. I'm just going to start with him and see what happens. Well, not much. So now I need a green up here. Let's try that one. Nope. I can't retrieve. No, I can't. So let's... No. And that's in the wrong order. Okay, so I gotta try this again. I'm still gonna roll this again, and this should be... So if I get this right, this will place a blue if I place it, right? Or does it roll first? No, it rolls first, doesn't it? Let's try. <sighs> that was another very useless one. So what I can do is I can place this here and hope it's green. And then place this or this here and hope it's blue. Nope. Staying on the planet longer than expected, we should be worried about rejection. I feel like my body is already numb. Can you send us some crass? Not yet, we'll send one dose for each of you when the next try begins. When each try begins, crass wears off. Now you have to be very careful, Terran Ultra. We have to use crass for each retry and we're done when we use it up. So the first ones are for free. Oh, okay. Well, let's try this again. I'm going to start with this because this is completely random. Okay, I have a blue. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, down, down, down. Oh, okay. That isn't so bad. I have one blue and I have one green. So let's first try here, because if this turns blue... Nope. And then this here. Green? Nope. Are you serious? There. That worked. Whew. I used three, earned 19. That's not too bad. Next up is Near Dog. Let's stop by Rabbit's shop. Captain's Bang locks color. When it's Vera dashes, it also creates red. When it's Vera finishes, it also creates red. This is this is tactical as fuck. Dashes. With this one, I want to try the dashes. Um, and that was, wait, who was it? Roland, yeah, the Wanderer. downgrade their skills and sights when there are two plus Otras in the team. Olfactory language users who don't care about being liked. Oh, I didn't even notice that. So, he is nothing, I suppose. Yeah, he's a Vocalon. He's a Vocalon. And he's an Otra. And I'm an Otra. So, he would have a problem. Wait, do I count as an Otra in this? Like, would this, would he trigger? I mean, it would trigger because he is also one. So, it would be two plus. So, we, but I want to read them. Um, Ex-gym coach, despised by everyone for the way he talks, but any player he trashes grows explosively in skill as they find it in themselves to play stronger and smarter. The devil's hands, known for finding flaws. I love how he has side noses. Then we have Detective Locke, always in a hurry, hungry for clues. Nowadays only does rush jobs, making reckless observations with only the slightest hint. Gasoline rot? All rave amongst young all the rave amongst young spacelings. From a species that runs on wheels like earth hamsters. Used this to gather money and fame, with a business where ordinary people could generate electricity. Now he travels the galaxy giving lecture lectures with the purpose of inspiring the hearts of young spacelings. Okay, so he creates blue and red. He creates um yeah. He creates mostly blue. Creates blue changes to certainly until the situation ends. I feel like he would be great, but I have too many Ultra. curious about him. The cadets are in the midst of a violent storm. All but one of them are about to be blown away. Now I want to see if I can get a lock. Storm. The wind is blowing the inhabitants into the air. Look at the big guy. He's hovering over our cadets. Imagine him falling on top of them. So much for recruitment. 
What if we just throw the big guy as far as possible? <laughs> okay, so I want lock. I want red and blue. So let's start here and see if I get something useful. Well, I got red and blue. So if I get a red here or a blue here, I'm fine. So, um... Nope. There we go. Okay, so it change what? So it changes. Oh, if it ever rolls, is this proof? It changes to certainly for the rest until the situation ends. That's how it's done. Okay. The next planet is where I found a peculiar signals. Let's send a scout to check out what's going on. I found an abandoned Gustati. It's chasing me. Okay. I found an abandoned Gustati. It's chasing me. I'm gonna hold its hand and circle the planet. Wandering aimlessly through the universe, one gains wisdom. That young fellow must have realized that too. Phew, I haven't gotten a good workout in a long time. Now we got the newborn three. Pushes the dice next to it, re-rolls it if it hits the wall after being pushed. Three months old is a good pusher. Doesn't look like it, but it's just a baby Gustati. Received normalization, but is too young to talk. Like any Gustati, he's much stronger than other language users and has no qualms about tackling teammates. Yeah, that sounds like an interesting one. Okay, we're getting closer to the goal. I'm really curious. The client says he shredded an important document. The document is already half shredded, but he wants to save the rest. This one looks a little tricky. One mistake and we might fail the request altogether. Not to mention that the reward could shrink. It's probably best to break the shredder and remove the risk altogether. Okay, so we can break the shredder, accidentally press the power shredder button. The remaining half got shredded. Okay, so we want blue and red. That's uh, blue and uh, green. That shouldn't be too difficult. So yeah, I have a one in six chance to create a green here. And a five and six to create a blue. Okay, we got the blue. But I have nothing that ensures a green, do I? But this one moves, so let's start with this one. Please move, yes. Okay, so we have two chances now. We can get a green up there. Let's try this one. Yes. Oh. Okay, so can we? No, we can't because I can't get a cream here. 
I can't do this and this. So you know what, let's aim at retrieving it. Which means I need a red one. Let's first place this here. Okay, so I have a red one here. Yeah, I'm gonna put this here to get the reroll. Just in case I need this. Unfortunately, this wasn't red. So now I need a blue one up here. There we go. Oh, the Cosmic Security Organization has sent us two packs of grass. Feels like... Feel like giving... Given, feel like giving a new lease on life. Okay, so we can either go... Yeah, we can either get talents or we can get the shop. Go on, choose a planet. Ugh. I know that feeling, Eternal. We... Just yesterday we heard um, rodents walking in our ceiling now. I'm not sure what our upstairs neighbors are doing, but those were very clearly rodent feet in the ceiling. So... I think it's time to take steps. <laughs> It's yeah, we live in a in a part of Denver that has very old buildings and ours is just old. It's it you know how it is. It's cold outside. You have field mice. It happens, unfortunately. Now I wanna get the surprise. I don't need a shop. I found an intellectual orbiting the planet. He says he wanted to be an NG, but not anymore. He'll give us a reward if we rescue him. We bothered to rescue Someone because Cain can. He's giving Cain the right gear. It's a killing two Dorans with one stone gear. New gear catapult with tel telemeter. When its wearer creates auras, it provides the same auras to the most distant box. Okay, most distant. I feel like it should probably be someone like this. Finally, the destination is right ahead. This is the final stage of our first mission. golden record in the river. At the site, collect yurti leaves before diving into the river. Yurti leaves are used to create oxygen pockets. The more yurti leaves you collect, the more time you have to swim under the river. Once you get to the river, focus and find the right path to reach the record. How can we make the pocket as big as possible? Some bugs are devouring the leaves. They are not dangerous, but they do seem to be voracious. Okay, so this is my current oxygen pocket size. Um, let's try. Let's try whatever we can. I'm just gonna place this here and. No, I don't like that. I want the green. There. Hmm, this just adds one. Do you see more? No, I don't. Ask them to share the leaves with us. Blue and red. See if we're lucky. Yes. Shake fist and demand more. Gather the your tea leaves. So red and we need a blue up here. Wait, didn't they say all of the natives were relocated? So then who's that?
airbots, the natives are found hiding from the Cosmic Security Organization. We only see three of them at the moment. Head to the river without getting noticed. The habots see us. Three displaced habots intrude. Attack the habots. Remove all habots plus one food pack. Okay, so we actually want... Oof. Well, this is gonna be a toughie. Let's start here. Well, that didn't work. So now we need a blue and a red to get rid of them. successful with this one? Yes, we are. Get out of the way. You aren't supposed to be here anyway. Bye-bye. Okay. Start the immigration ship. Oh. I don't think that's an option anymore, is it? So now we need seven red. I suppose let's place him to get him out of the way. Because then we can push him. <sighs> that wasn't good. Now you can... Come on, I just need red. There we go. There's an CSO immigration ship. Let's put all the habits in there and send them away. Okay, now I have that option. Yeah, these dice are evil and I love it. Hey, give that back. This is Ed Edgirk. Who's there? The CSO sent you, but you don't belong to them. Am I wrong? Stop talking and take the crass extract if you don't want to suffer rejection. I won't take anything that came from the CSO, even if it remember, even, even if it means death. Let me send a congratulatory message to the CSO through my friends. If I die on the deportation ship, but if I survive, I won't bother. CSO will know immediately that it's their death. Let's see if this will be our end or our beginning. Evict the habits with the immigration ship. Okay, I need... Oh, this is gonna be a tough one to fill here. I'm actually not sure I can. I would have to get a green one here. Yeah, I can't move this one. And I can't add a red one here, so I definitely can't do this. So let's paste five. Oh my god, five food. Let's start with you. Crap. Okay, we have one red. Oh, sh that was that was so dumb. Oh, uh, because I can't put the green here. Uh, I mean, that is good. 
good news, Jakey. Unless, unless you're too lightweight, then it's not. <laughs> but I'll simply assume you're not. Otherwise, you wouldn't be happy. Okay, we have a red here. I would now get really lucky if I have a green here. Yeah, didn't think so. There. Poop. Okay, let's try this again. Let's start up here. We got a red, we got a red. That is very nice. Go left, go left. Give me green. Nope. But look at that. We have two green and we have one red. So first... I'm gonna put this here because this is a... 4 out of 6 chance to give me a red. Yes. All clear now, let's head downstream. Time to pick up the record. bad with Imperial, but yeah, it does sound like it's never a bad idea to lose weight. Let's just face it, um, in the modern day and age, too many of us have too much and could live with having a lot less. <laughs> Let's just be honest. <laughs> Oops, this river is bigger than expected. We need to choose the dive spot carefully. Okay, so it's not visible. It must be at the bottom of the river. It's depth 60. Okay. So I suppose we want to aim for this one where it's the darkest. I'm not sure if that's a, a good idea. It doesn't sound like a good idea, but... This was useless completely. No, let's put it here if we get a red. No, we got a blue. Let's go with randomness. Is green. Let's go with randomness. Is blue. Could try to get the red one here. Okay, yeah. Then let's go in here. The fish bother the team members. Oxygen minus five. Need four green. Well, oh, it's too dark down here. But I think I saw something clistering down there. I can feel we picked the right point to dive in. Okay, so we can switch the side. That is interesting. Let's get our two red and two green to dive. Two red and two green. Let's put you here. And then you here. Yep, that worked. Okay, and I opened the oxygen pocket for momentum. But we have very little oxygen left. I don't like that. Okay, so we should use this here. Four green to escape the bubbles blocking the side. So let's just start placing them and hope we get enough green out of this one. Nope. Okay, give me green. Give me green. I need green. Please green. Should have pushed. Oh, 
let's put you here and let's push you there we go no no this isn't good um let's see we could try if we get a green here we get a green up here yes not that it does anything good So we have two chances now. We can either get a green down here. Nope. Or we can get a green up here. Yes. No, that didn't do anything. No, so I need to stay in one. So yeah, let's resurface. Let's try this again. try with our randomness and see what we get once again absolutely nothing useful this is impressive how useless this is for what if i can get the blue up here yeah I think this is the highest chance. Microsoft 365 has everything. That is, that is a big issue I have with it, that it, it's a source of going all out and putting in whatever they can come up with right now. There we go. So let's try that side, and this time we're gonna stick to this side. Okay, so we need a red and a blue. We have blue here, we need a red up here. Nope. Yeah, I, the, oh yeah, the red, I could do that, but I feel like I need to stay on this side now. So we need a red here. Nope. <sighs> no, I want this one. I need the red and the blue. Yep, we have a red, we have a red, come on. This is not gonna give me a blue. There we go. Okay. My last one. Need a red, I need a red. 
That's a 50-50 chance for red. That's a 50-50. I see a golden record on the riverbed. It's buried in the mud, but it's surely a golden record. Oh. Let's start here with a push. That was a bad push. That was a good red. That was a good red. There we go. Our first mission was a success. Can I go now? There's work to catch up on. See you later then, Terran Otra. Small universe and all that. Don't be sad, friend. I'm staying on this ship with you. Let's get ready to retrieve another golden record. Yeah, this is an interesting... Interesting dice game. And good morning, Dalton. Hi, how are you today? And if you're so tired, just go sleep a little. Lay down. You know, just chill. As Girk from Harbadon has formed a dangerous organization called the Home Seekers. Unlocked actor Home Seekers. First completion. This news is being spread all over the universe. Unlock token. We love river. You can now use the formula deck. Yeah, interesting game. I think I'm definitely um, returning to this. This this is a really fun game, and this demo took a lot longer than I anticipated. Yeah, that was Golden Record Retriever. I'm gonna put the link in here again. Really, really cute demo. I'm definitely moving over here. Uh, I mean, I'm definitely looking into that again. Um, I think that is a game I need. Good idea. Good idea. So let me hydrate. Just for you. I even left the microphone on so you know I did. Yeah, that was demo number one. Now we're gonna do something a bit shorter, I heard. And a bit scarier. Uh, sorry, that noise in the background is um, the water running in the bathroom. We'll be over in a second. Unfortunately, I um, am relatively close to the bathroom, so you can hear when the the water upstairs is running sometimes. Yeah, the problem is in Denver, we have extremely high water pressure, like insanely high water pressure. So you hear it when it runs. And yes, water hammer is a problem. That 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 is a is a term. But we are now switching over to game number two. And you can already hear. It's a bit creepy. And yes, Dalton, it does regularly here. I actually managed to break pipes before by just opening and closing the, the faucet a bit too fast. It happens. It's the pressure here is absolutely insane and we have i mean we have water pipes hanging in loose walls so yeah pop anyway this is chasing the unseen i heard it's a very short demo but let's see you try to concentrate but your mind keeps wandering a sense of complete disorientation overtakes you, leaving you lost and confused. You feel like you have to find your way back and wake up from this. Now you'll need to find your path across, somehow. Okay. 
Okay, rotate the camera, mouse, and WASD and space. This is to save. Hold on. Hold on. Most, most important, most important. Where, where? We're inward camera. Much better. How do you know it doesn't have lizard man? You can climb certain things in the world. You try to climb something, hold the left mouse button. Once you're climbing, press spacebar to jump from the tree to the next platform. There's a save. You can always restart to the last checkpoint by holding set. Why would I want to do this? I I understand that it's a thing. You don't have to force me to do that. No, oh, did she redo? When you get near something you can climb, the stamina gauge will appear. As you climb, keep an eye on it to see how much stamina you have left before falling. Rest to be replenish your stamina. I wonder what game they I copied that crash, from. By the way. Oh, it is okay. It, it felt like it didn't let me walk. Ooh, hi. Are we going to do kinky things? That is so well animated. Come, come, Dalton. <laughs> I suppose this is where I'm supposed to go. I just needed to get out of that hole. I want to see what that glow is down there. Oh, oh, oh. Nope, that's way too fast. If you die, a rock will be used to quickly respawn to your last location. If you run out of rocks, you will go back to the last checkpoint. Oh, okay, I see. Or you can just accept the squeezes, Dalton. Just, just accept them. Oh, they aren't? These fluffy little creatures running around are much like your mind, restless and unsettled. However, as you capture one of them, your mind begins to calm. You can't help but wonder what it would be like to catch them all. It's a nice atmosphere. I love mysterious space creatures, void creatures. Doesn't look like I actually have to climb that. Yeah, this, this feels like someone had a really creative idea and just wanted to put it into reality, and it's more about atmosphere than anything. I'm cute, Crash, by the way. Yes, he is. 
So where did that oh Rodin went all the way up there already? Stop running, you little stink. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely running like he knows he needs to run. There's there's some speed there. Now, I don't need a hint of where to go. I just want that rodent there. I'm fine going everywhere. Nope, not here. Hey, Abby! <laughs> How are you today? Good morning. We actually just finished a Korean developed game. Well, demo. We were contemplating on whether the language used in it sounds like a Korean version of Simlish. So now I feel like I have to ask you that later. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, um, if you're in here, you already know, Evie. I feel like... I, like, I always feel bad if I don't give someone a shout-out. Because I feel like everyone already knows you, but I am so gonna. Because if you don't know our dearest Evie-hating wolf, then you absolutely should. He milks all his best friends. <laughs> he plays all the best and toughest games. <laughs> well, it's not my fault if you name all your cows in Stardew Valley after friends. <laughs> Hold on, I got I just figured out that the controller stops uh, starts vibrating in this game, so I had to unplug it real quick. And you get a shout out to Eternal, but you get yours at the end. <laughs> oh, what are you? What are you? I mean, look at that. How do you not love this? That's, that's so creepy. I love it. Restlessness and worry. Yeah, I, I've, I'm, uh, I'm doing amazing today. I felt like, you know, it's time for a demo day. I have so many demos listed and I have a whole bunch of dog and cat focused demos. So that is what we are doing today. Dog and cat demos. Except this. This is the demo about Steve. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a very floofy lineup today. We actually just finished uh, the the Korean demo I was talking about was the Golden Record Retriever. Very adorable dice game. Amazing. I really enjoyed it. Uh, that's definitely gonna go on my wish list. This is one of those games that I'm never sure is good for streams because it's the kind of game where I just wanna sit somewhere and just like stare at it for 10 minutes. Like, how can you not just follow that and watch it? Like, this is a game I actually want in VR. Stop running, running. Can I climb him? I feel like the answer is no. 
And yes, tentacles in VR work really, really well. They are big, they are scary, they are all around you. Oh, gliding stamina, I see. So that means we probably should get over there. Haha! -ha. I'm traveling. I'm travel. I, I don't know where we're going, but I'm traveling. I'm going places now. Me and Steve are BFFs. Ah, this is creepy as fuck. Okay, I need to get up there. No, not not like that, Steve. Steve. Steve, that was rude. <laughs> How do I... Can I get over there? No, no, okay. No, 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 come on, come on, no, no! Well, Steve, we're gonna try this again. There. Do I lose stamina just holding on? Yes, I do. Means I should... I do have to run up his head. I just have to do it after he brushes over his head. There, now. Oh! Well, that is a nice way to tell me. So then I just need to get up there. So I suppose I'm just mine to find, uh, meant to find the exit. You know, I just have to imagine that that is actually a song Steve played himself. He just likes playing instruments to sound like an epic movie score. That's that's actually what he does in his spare time. Whee! Oh, that's where I am. Yeah, this interesting demo. So, definitely. Thank you for the head pitch. They are very good head pitch. Oh, yes, they are. <laughs> but yeah, um, this was Chasing the Unseen. Definitely an, an interesting and very atmospheric game. If you're into that, um... I'm creating this game alone and working hard to make it the best it can be. If you enjoyed the game, please consider adding it to your wishlist. Yeah, I'm, I'm adding this to my wishlist. I actually did right now. And you know what? While I'm here, um, let me add Golden Record Retriever as well. Because I definitely want that. There. Yeah, that... interesting. Absolutely, I do want more. But time for something gory, for something bloody, with explosions and dead animals. Before we start, um, I'm gonna read the description of this game because this has a very good description. A cozy nature simulation where animals kill each other, fight and die right in front of your eyes. How can you not love that? So, welcome to Snowscapes. I, I saw the trailer and this game is gory as heck, so I'm really curious. 
Welcome to the demo. You can influence the world by playing cards. Pan the camera with WASD and mouse wheel zoom. Rotate right mouse button. Double click any animal to take its view. Hi. Let's escape to go top down again. Check the achievements to get an inspiration about what to do. It is located in the top right menu or on F1. Have fun. Okay, 40 foxes alive, 50 babies born, 100 dead animals. That's a very simple selection of achievements. So what do we have? We have a bear. A fox. Well, we need babies mate. So you know what? If we place two foxes, we all know what happens. Let's, let's place three foxes. Let's see. Uh, you are female, female, male. Yeah, that works. That works. <laughs> Five minutes later. Oh. Blood mode on. All predators will try to kill everything instantly. <gasps> Are they hunting? Are they hunting? Hello, Foxy. This. No, what? Which fox? Where am, where's my where did my camera go? I should not have clicked on this. Now I am um... Rip There we go. I think I was under the earth. <laughs> yes, that that is what I mean. Animal stuff. Okay, I'm going to place a bear here. Oh, I have to turn blood mode on. Oh, they don't eat. Is that what I do? So let's place a few animals. And then play blood mode. Let's see what the bear does in blood mode. Let's place a few more animals. Yeah, I have no idea what this game is. But it is it is weird and I like it. Let's place more animals. Animals everywhere. He's hunting. Look at him go. Look at him. Hey, look at, look at his blood. Poof. <laughs> uh, see, if hunting games were more like this. <laughs> Splam. Yeah, I have I have no idea what this game is about. I don't even know how we we get the additional fish, uh, animals. Like these seem so random. Up, oh, up, oh. Foxy's hunting bunny. No wait, that's a wolf. Bunny. That bunny is not having a good day anymore. <laughs> there, all expecting babies will be born. Poof. Splem. <laughs> uh, that, that's 
just get as many animals in and see what happens. More birth, more death. Splam. <laughs> uh, yeah, what happens if we kill all predators? Splam. <laughs> This is like a scene from Squid Game, when you just like slowly scroll out and you see all these dead bodies here that exploded in every direction. <laughs> I have no idea what this game is. I... I saw the trailer which was literally just animals exploding in really brutal ways. And I was like, I'm gonna play that. Yeah, I have no idea what this game is. I just, I don't know. No, I think the foxes starved very early on, because I I had to turn blood mode on so they can hunt. Yeah, this this is definitely a unique game. Um, if you like what you see, uh, definitely keep an eye on, on, on Snowscapes. I am gonna, because I am kind of curious where this goes. This is a... A weird enough game that I'm interested. But time for the next demo. And to stay in our pattern of animal themed demos. We're now gonna play Uh, hold on, it, it would help if I have the link ready. Because this is our next dog slash cat themed demo today. It's called Paw Paw Destiny. Uh, let's make our own player, of course, because we can either be a dog or a cat. What should we be? Should we be a dog or a cat? Okay. Doggo. Name. <laughs> oh, what shall you be called? I need a good dog name. I'm cute crash, by the way. Hmm. You know what? That is perfect, pupper. That works. Oh, do I love cats? Cats and dogs. Or do I love dogs only? No, I love all the beans. Oh. This is cute. Oh, do we want tiny puppy, medium puppy, or large puppy? Hmm. Yeah, I was leaning towards large. We need a big floof. Oh, 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 we have selections. Okay. So we can be a golden retriever. We already had that today. Crate, Pyrenees, St. Bernard, Leonberger, Bloodhound. Or a rough collie German Shepherd Siberian Husky style, or an Alaskan Malamute Akita Samoyed, or a Bulldog Pitbull Rottweiler, or a Boxer Pitbull Bulldog Rottweiler. Hmm, yeah, I, that's actually where I wanted to go. I want a Rotty. They are cute. Let me look at him. Okay. Um. Those don't look like Rottweilers. It does look like Rottweilers, a, a bit more at least. My god, they're so colorful. No, it didn't mean to. Uh, these buttons are a bit unclear. No, I like him. He's a cutie. Look at him. Oh, random colors. Oh my god, I love this. I love his little pink toenails. Yeah, actually, let me let me go back to the size. Now I am curious what like a, a small dog looks like. What we have here. 
Yeah, here you have your typical wiener dog corgi chihuahua shapes. A Pembroke and a cardigan, cor cardigan corgi. Yeah, now I gotta check the others. Siberian Husky Doberman. Oh my god. Yeah, they have a lot of French shapes in here. Okay, now we're checking the cats. Yes, you're gonna be called Pupper, I'm sorry. Normal, fluffy, or bold, I see. Wait, normal? Normal. Okay, the normal cats? I'm cute Crash, by the way. He's a very normal cat. The fluffy cats? Oh my, oh, look at how fluffy they are. They definitely fluffy. And the bold cats. Meow. No, I want, I want a dog. And I think we're actually gonna medium because... Oh, up here. I saw those shapes. Look at those shapes. Oh my god, yes. Yes. Yes, that... Actually, no, let's pick more random. I wanna... See if I... Get an even cuter mix. But this is so cute, I like that. No, I'm gonna stick with that. I think this is the cutest. I'm okay with that one. Mm, no. No, I don't think that would look good. Let's not put my avatar's I'm face on that. By the way. Ta da! Dog has been born. You know, we're not picky here, Jakey. I'm cute, Crash, by the way. We're not speciesists. Oh my god, he's having dreams. What am I? I meant to click here, okay. Okay, hold on, let me... Let me... Um, so, no, I'm, I'm not, what, Q, A, D, and what? Okay, I'm plugging in the gamepad for this. Ah, <laughs> uh, gamepad is not recognized because it wasn't plugged in when I started the game. Well, um, Q, A, D, and Z, I will just have to go with that. just for looking up and down, okay. Okay. Alt changes looks. Q and E is dash and E is jump. Hey Senri, how are you? I einen wunderbaren schönen guten Abend. <laughs> Wasn't yeah. H how are you? And, and thank you so much for the 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 follow later uh, earlier. Oh my God, I'm I'm derp today. <laughs> well, then learn it. Problem solved. Well, I am jumping. Oh, I see. I gotta. This is a, a, a dark dream. Are we in a... I think we're in a dark dream. Oh, what the fluffy bork for fluff's sake. It's 
skill R. Okay, I can shoot hearts. And I can climb. Is this? Oh no, no. sure I should translate that but yes he said the only reason you can't speak German is because you were second place uh, b because Germany was second place in the world championship 1945 <laughs> I mean Senri has a point <laughs> okay wait can I can I shoot this no Anything here? No. Uh. Okay, no, I definitely gotta jump up here, so I suppose I gotta jump over here. Can I go down here? No, this is sealed off. But there wasn't much further up here, or did I miss something? Jump plus Q. Yeah, I did that. Nope. Oh. oh, right, it's it's Q, it's not W. Uh, these default controls are definitely not helpful. No, there's nothing up here. I can't go further this way. And there was nothing this way, so it needs to be here. Well, concretes were already stuck. How do I? Did. Okay, let, well, let me let me look again. So, yeah, I can't get up here. So I definitely have to go down here, up here. Nah, it, it, there is an invisible wall, unfortunately. But why is this water here? I feel like... There has to be more up here. Oh. That's it. Wait, why am I in a box? Seems you've been having nightmares for a long time. What on earth are you doing? Uh, going to start doing? You're still stuck in the bad memories of the past? Yes, it is. The lies of mankind have covered the earth again, and another time of collapse is imminent. Are you going to the dark penal colony of souls again? The guardians of the earth, the dragon and phoenix, were killed with falsely accused. Those sinners still keeping that secret, the descendant still alive, impudently. We lost in an ancient space war, chased from our home planet and washed up here. No one remembers your name anymore, once a legendary guardian who saved human souls. I am your negative side, your shadow. I see all your weaknesses. You're still stuck in the bad memories of your past. If you can't control those emotions, you will make the same mistake again, and fail this time also. 
This is... This is a weird game. Okay, so this is a memory, okay. <laughs> yes, it, exactly, invisible walls. It's, I've been... Two dogs, that's about how it works. <laughs> Yeah, schönen just means good or beautiful, rather. So, you know, if you wish someone to have a nice evening, then you can also wish them to have a schönen evening. And just thank you. Thank you for the head pets. Always good. Actually, yeah, let me take a quick hydration break. That's a good point. Also, black and white is underappreciated. I just wanted to mention that. Can Buddy sniffs out who is the heartful human by love and get a virtue points? When you use love, health power will decrease. Barking to human wisely, otherwise you'll wasted energy and virtue points. Can Buddy sniffs out who is the heart heartful woman by love? I am. I have no idea. But look at me run. Oh my god. Look at this beautiful ocean. And you are beautiful too. Heartful human and good virtue point. Well, I mean, it, it, only this one has a heart. But what about... Protecting children. Yeah, I, I, I am, I'm still trying to figure things out. But yeah, this is, I feel like if anyone, and I, this one. Appreciate and repay the support of those around you. Hell to mother, I would like to fluff. One thousand years yeah this is a kid crash game <laughs> no okay people tend to damage your reputation and honor easily for their thrive for, for their thrive but you don't need to be heard by their gossip which doesn't know who you really are Okay, so not all of them have the heart visible, I suppose. Still carrying the emotional... what? Scar from childhood. Yeah, I, I'm not sure... Heartful nutrition. I'm not sure if the developer or the language style they used. Because this has a really... very specific art style. Tool. Crystallization of good thoughts and virtues bequeathed by people. Its shape somewhat resembles a tea. Am I meant to eat that? Oh no, it gives me two hearts if I eat that. But I can't leave this now, can I? No, okay. I 
I don't know what she is doing. But I'm gonna shoot the kid there. Oh, what is that? I have no idea. Nope, okay, I'm not gonna shoot the kid. Impartial judgment. Yeah, I... I feel you. I feel you. Look at this. God, look, just, just watch this for a minute. And you tell me you don't feel these emotions. This is... I'm sorry, I feel like this single animation is telling so much of my life. <laughs> uh, round and round we go. What a spirit. Like, even looking at this... This... Yeah, I can I can see this. I, I don't even know what it means, and I can... I, it's like I can understand it. It's when you, when you are the happiest. Because, you know, you're happy on Thursday, because the weekend is coming. Saturday is amazing, Sunday it's going downhill, on Friday you're usually just exhausted, and, you know, Tuesday still so much week left. Wednesday, meh, Monday the worst of all. This is such a weird Im impressionist game, I, I don't even know what to call this. It's been a long time since my body left this world, but the hole in my heart has never been filled. I regret that I treated Buddy so coldly before passed away. I should have been nicer. People say pets take your heart away, but that was not the case. My body was a reflection of my heart. Buddy's a copy of my soul, my alter ego. I wish to see again and hug again. The only one who knows my true heart. Oh. Can I? Can I give you a heart? Uh, yeah, thank you so much for the lurk, Senri. You go take a good rest. Because, I mean, I, I'll simply assume you're in Germany or at least in that time zone, which means it's definitely getting late. And yeah, thank you so much for coming on in. Now, what? Oh my god, look Look at my hair. I have hair options. I have a blap option. Oh my god. And hats and classes and... Okay. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh. I have to go back to my home planet to prepare for my reincarnation, but I've decided I'm not going back. I've been by my owner's side all along, protecting from anything bad on the way. Even can't see me anymore. The time we lived together, so many wonderful memories. My owner made me a great meal for my birthday, but seems forgot those memories. I really miss being able to touch each other anymore. But I decided to protect Owner's soul. Until we meet again someday. Crap. No. What is this warmth? The fluffiness? 
I can feel my body. I can smell it. I don't like to be weird about it, but I have a feeling I'm going to meet my buddy in the future. No, I'm absolutely sure I'll see buddy. I will live until the day I see my buddy again. I'm going to live strong and tough. No, I don't want to turn on sticky keys. Thought I turned you off. <laughs> This is so sweet. And that is adorable. I gotta click. And shaky, I wouldn't even know what a grinder sound is. Is that bad? <laughs> if the controller doesn't work or if you are stuck, press the photo image to open the inventory once and reset your movement. <laughs> I'm glad if I get tips like this. Oh, are you just doing this to test me? No! What? No! I didn't mean to, to jump on you. Enthusiasm for work and hobbies. So, lesson learned. I, I can... What? What is happening? Why do I have... I don't even... what? Yeah, I, I thought I'm stepping in poop, but why does opening the inventory solve the... Poop? Why is there a sheep upside down? <laughs> I'll actually... Uh, let me... yeah. This is the current demo I'm playing. But yeah, uh, thank you so much for the, the, the visit, Alex. You go. Have a good day. When I copy my personality to my avatar in the game, people around me, even in the game, hated me the same way. Maybe I'm being set up by some player too. No, oh, maybe you're just an asshole. But I don't hold a crutch anymore. Money is heavier than life. Uh, I, I don't know. Do I shoot you? Yeah, become the light of the moon and illuminate others. Oh, oh. Oh, that is cute. Numerology file. I see. It's just like the one I saw in the video. So cute. I want the pet. Kawaii. I want one of those, but it's a bit pricey. Yeah, that that, that F is Asian. I'm not surprised. Stop the practice of mass breeding and selling of genetically deceased animals now. Do you people not have a heart? Yes, please get a shelter dog. Adopt a shelter dog. Well, I suppose I'm murdering you now. I, I turned one into a sh I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm turning people into sheeps. Mm. 
there. What is... Where are they going? <laughs> I don't know. I think one of the sheeps just exploded somewhere. I can't breathe. My mother told me that I wouldn't live long because I have a genetic disorder too. Problems with my bones and breathing. She died right after I was born. Today, I saw the outside for the first time. It's a big world. That person behind you who, who something holding smells just as gentle as my mother's. I wanted to live and using these limbs and run around in this world. I wish I could have run with you, mom. I'm not even sure I can do this to myself. It's like, you know, I can't even watch every play. Um... What's it called? Thank you. Yeah, this is an interesting game. Oh, I gotta change the the sticky keys off. I thought I turned all the the shortcuts off. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing after this. It's like, how do I high five? Oh, wait, do I equip that? Is that a tool? No, those do the same. Oh, I, I click it. I have to right click it, I see. Okay, I can't high five sheep. Oh, I oh I see. Another genetically defective child is born. I let these have this baby because there's a demand for people, but useless. Pet store owner for green money. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna beat the shit out of you there. Killing for fun. What is this game? Okay, yeah, this is this is this is so weird. It, the, I 
Ow. Wait, is someone just throwing grenades at me? How, how can I get back up? I, I think I fell through the world. Yeah, I, I, I think I actually am in a spot where I shouldn't be. Yep. <laughs> that if, if anything needed to give it away, that is definitely giving it away. How do we... Okay. Now I'm a sucker for unique and weird games and this is definitely high on the list. Experiments on animals. Wait, can I rescue the others too? No, there were no others, okay. to high five a cat oh you too Evie and thank you so much for coming on in you have a wonderful day yeah, this is, this is, uh, I don't think I can, like, I'm, uh, like I said, I can't watch Evie play Spirit Fairer, and this is already making me cry, so, I'm not sure this is a game I could play. This is, I, as I said before, in Sherman, we state that we're built close to the water, and I admit I am. I, if I play something like this, I will cry like a dog, yes. But yeah, that is, um, that is Paw Paw Destiny. If you like what you're seeing here, please wishlist the game. It's adorable. I think it might actually, isn't it already out even? Uh, no, August 16th. Yeah, please wishlist the game or follow Kit Crash because I'm pretty sure he's gonna play it and maybe, maybe, I don't know, on stream. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that is that is all I can take of this game before I start crying. There is one more game we have to try, because if I don't, then one of my regulars is going to be really mad at me. Want to guess what it is? As an old schooler, having played old games, I was really looking forward to this. Yep. Because Night Dive makes amazing remakes. And this is System Shock. I know the demo has been out for quite a while. The full game is now actually out, finally. So, if you're interested in System Shock, please. This this might just be a game I, I grab and play on stream. Because I finished the original System Shock. Here's a fun fact. Um, when I purchased the original System Shock, same with Bioshock, I actually purchased a PC upgrade for it. 
and the PC upgrade was from 4 to 16 megabytes of RAM. Cost me a thousand German marks back then. One, so about $500 adjusted for inflation, probably a thousand again. To upgrade from 4 to 16 megabytes of RAM. And yeah, this would have been a long time before the Euro. I mean, this was when Bioshock was released. Uh, uh, not Bioshock. Um, Bioforge. Let's, let's not mix up games that came out 20 years apart from each other. So that was released in March 95. That day I upgraded to 16 megabytes, not gigabytes, of RAM. So I could play the 16 megabyte version of this game. Because it came out in two versions. It came out in a 4 and a 16 megabyte version. Yes, I'm old. Rah, 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 rah. See, now I don't need to hydrate. I already drink. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is a rather lengthy intro. So we're gonna just make sure we have in Word on. I think all the settings should have saved. Yes, they did. And then let's start the intro while I do a hydration break. Oh yeah, right. Like in the original, you can actually adjust the difficulty for each of the features directly. So if you like tougher puzzles. See, why, why don't other games do that? But yeah, enjoy. It's been a beautiful day in New Atlanta. Sector 11 in particular has a beautiful sunset right now. Temperatures are set to hit a monthly high of 28 degrees Celsius for the next two days. And the current visibility forecast for air traffic is hazy with pockets of Atlanta fog starting at 120 meters going into the weekend. To admit I don't actually remember the original intro but I'm pretty sure this is very close to it thank you for the head pets but I just noticed yeah, we didn't save that. There we go. Their success is Earth's success. The following message is brought to you by the Trioptimum Corporation. Fancy a change of career? Feeling the need for a new challenge? Game break. Now from Game Publisher. Triumptimum has you covered. 
We're now hiring for our new research and development program aboard our flagship Citadel station. As the leader in interplanetary research, Trioptimum strives to provide every employee a safe and enjoyable work environment where they can realize their full potential. But don't just take our word for it. Take our new hiree, Charlene Angel, for example. I like this layout. I really do. I'm a big sucker for one-room apartments in games. You know, games that actually really try to get everything in and still make it look like someone lives here. Like, you know, from Lava Lamp to the, the headphones just carelessly laying there next to a disc man. Wow. Wow. from Dr. Dorothea Rimbo from the Marseille Genetic Research Bastion. The staff at Trioptimum Radio wishes you all a pleasant evening. There are some... What is <laughs> weirdly low-res assets in here. I wonder if this is a hint... like nudging at the original. <laughs> But it's a very weird choice to like have this can here, so low res. I suppose you want me to click here, don't you? No, can't interact. Then let's leave. I see. Right click. Yeah, I'm, I'm a hacker. I can tell because I wear gloves while typing on a keyboard on a neon green display. That's how you know I'm a hacker. Like, this is immediately... Also, I don't know what's now happening. This ran well earlier and now it's broken. Hold on, let me see if I can. Yeah, I, I'm i not sure if the performance suddenly notched because there's a reason I tested this earlier, but let's just go down. You know, don't tell me to turn around and then hit me in the face. Remember, gentlemen, what I say stays here. I'm currently attending to other affairs on the station, but I have a job for you. If you do it, you'll be rewarded. Refuse, and you won't be leaving the station in the shuttle. I see the silent type. Remove the hood. Operate and I'll give you the implant you tried to steal. Symmetry and all. Consider it a gift. Besides, what surgeon would you prefer? Try Optimum's Elite or some black market hat job? Fantastic. This is Shodan, the station's AI. She controls just about every system on Citadel Station. I need you to remove the ethical restraints. There's been a bit of an issue of light. Mm. 
they really made the intro as little interactive as possible, didn't they? I mean, in the original, this was just the intro, if I remember right. I sometimes mix up the first and the second because System Shock 2 was such a far superior game on every level. I may have other work for you once this is over. I do really like how reminiscent all of this is of the original, the green low-res screens, the terminal font. Yep, and this is the room I actually do remember. I mean, of course they would have to make it as identical as possible. Oh my god, I even... I remember this change of the mouse cursor. That when you opened the menu, the, the controls changed. Yeah, this is adorably reminiscent of that. Okay, a scalpel is oops, is not a weapon, it turns out. Today I learned. I wonder if TSA told someone that. Let's see if we can loot all the stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna fall out this shit. <laughs> Yes. Yep. Yep, I agree. I 100% agree. Please follow that fox. Hey, Seek, how are you? I mean, if you're not already, I, I hope you are. If you had a bad morning, you know, it, it happens. We we all have bad mornings way too often, let's be honest. Just take a breather. Hold on, why did my, no, my chat stopped scrolling? There we go. Take a breather and just accept a hug. Everything is better with a hug. I am still annoyed that I can't equip any of this shit as a weapon. Like, why can I not stab people with this? card a multimedia reader <laughs> a, a cyberpunk pip boy and a system analyzer Suppose we have all? Sorry, I had to take a drink. Okay, 
let's see. We got someone. Employ 2-4601. I'm Rebecca Lansing, a counter terrorism consultant to our office. Here's the situation. Our scans for Citadel Station show biological outbreak is in progress. We're in a comms blackout since Shodan is unresponsive. And worse yet, the mining laser is charging for potential strike on Earth. Nathan Darcy has an office on the medical level from Central Hub. If he's alive, he'll bring the situation under control. I'll contact you through military no in plan soon. Lansing out. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with Eternal, and <laughs> thank you so much for the, you know, the kind words, Seek. <sighs> Let's be honest, in the end, we're all here to help each other because we've all had, you know, sorry, let me move this a bit closer. I hate when I'm, when when he's talking in the background, it's so distracting. But yeah, you know, we ha we all have, have had our fair share of issues. We have our days where we feel down, or our weeks where we feel down, or years that go shit. But you know what's always better? It's going through shit with friends. So, really, um, feel free to, to share, to hop on in if you ever just need a hug. And th that's essentially what, what I want to do. I just... My goal to stream was always to just help people have a better morning. Or, I mean, it, it turned out I now have way more European, so I suppose I can't say morning anymore. Um, fun fact, my intro song is actually called Have a Moxie Morning. That's what it was originally called, because I was planning to go more towards a, like a morning talk show in style than a motel. But we're drifting off. <laughs> I do think I need to hit a... Hit someone over the head. That was interesting. I don't know if you saw, but when he started swinging his hands, the, the arms actually disappeared and it just looked blurry. Because that's what it looked like in the original animation, of course. I... Th there's something about Night Dive that... that I adore. They do a really good job in bringing back the feeling of the original. See this. Hmm, they take a fair beating. But no loot. No loot. Yeah, this this is interesting. I do have to admit. Uh, I just forgot I should have. that one. Come on, is it that difficult to find the right one? Oh yeah, it's called Remake. They put Remake in the title. Am I... am I dumb? Can someone just link it for me? I I am blind. But yeah, uh, this, since it's just a demo day, is only the demo of it. And I think it's a full price game if I remember, so... Okay, I thought I can only use them once. That's why I didn't use the health thing yet. Thank you very much. Is that the... Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, it kept linking me to the old one. That's the issue. But yeah, it is. It is a $40 game. So it's it's not 40. It's not full price. 
you know, nowadays it isn't anymore. Yeah, speaking of full price. Let's listen to this and then I have a little rant about Blizzard, shall we? Oh, I didn't. really atmospheric I like it but yeah exactly um, you want to know what Diablo is gonna cost because I recently heard what they are gonna charge and they literally charge $20 extra just for the right to play three days early yeah, hold on, let me actually bring it up. Because it was just, ugh, despicable. And they are hitting a new high in the, the price they charge. Here, this is the perfect image. Um, uh, let me just bring that up. Where, where did I? Here, let me switch over here so I can show you that more easily. So, Diablo is going to come in three editions. The standard, default, normal for $70 includes Diablo 4 for Battle.net, open beta access, a mount, wings and a pet, a murloc pet, and something in World of Warcraft and Diablo Immortal who no one cares about. For $70. Then we can go to the $90, 20 bucks extra for the right to play four days early, two more mounts, and the premium season battle pass unlock. And then if you haven't paid enough yet, you can pay an extra 10 bucks on top. You don't get the battle pass, but you get the accelerated seasonal battle pass unlock. So so you know you don't you don't have to play the game as much that you just purchased more money for. Uh, paid paid more money for. <sighs> yeah, up to four. Um, the the keyword here is up to four because then they can't be held responsible if they have server issues during the first four days, which they can now use to test the watches with all those people that are, you know, willing to give them a hundred dollars instead of seventy. And of course will it have server issues. Every Blizzard game that comes out has server issues. <sighs> oh yeah, and of course, they have also already stated that there will be post-launch story DLC and um, paid DLC very early on and cosmetic DLC. And they actually, they literally have a video where they show off the premium to the normal appearance just to show people that you can also get okay looking normal appearance like they, they literally they have one just to show off that the normal stuff also looks okay but the premium stuff looks a lot better so yeah if you have any expectations after Overwatch 2 that Diablo 4 is not gonna be a shit show? I wouldn't hold my breath. I I really 
I think, thank you for the head pets. Oh my God. Uh, 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 you can feel those. Okay, I gotta look at this. Okay, yeah. Let, let let me bring this also up. Wow. I I don't have a browser here yet. That I should really I should get the browser here. Wait, where did the browser go? There we go. So yeah, going back to Blizzard, I'm sorry for just dumping on this. So Blizzard Entertainment and Future Game Show put out a Diablo 4 Devs Answer Your Questions video. Like, the cutscenes in D4 are gorgeous. How important was it to get these as high quality as they are in the game? From someone called Emma Rocks, who did one tweet 13 years ago. Or the... Yes, she, I wonder if she still loves Justin Bieber. We'll never find out. Or, thanks for putting Couch Co-op in the game. I imagine this makes development significantly harder. Oh, was it so important to include this in Diablo 4? Uh, yeah, that, that account was created today. Uh. Red, oh, Redditor. Will skill trees be further expanded with new branches slash choices for existing abilities in future fetches slash seasons? I'd love to skill clusters like the necromancers, whatever that means. I don't play Diablo. Yeah, this is long story short. I suppose so many of those questions are done. <sighs> But how does this work still today? How, you know, I mean, don't you all have phones? Don't you all sit on the shitter and read this and then go like, you know, I wonder if my Diablo pre-order, maybe I should cancel it. I would, like, I, I get, I 100% get if you're excited about Diablo 4, because there is very little in that style around. You know, we don't have these games anymore. You can play Torchlight 2, because 3 is a piece of shit. You can play Path of Exile, because you like pain. But they know they they can charge it, and I, I hate it, I hate it. It's this... Ugh. And I just want the honest opinion of someone who is still pre-ordering the game, like without any judgment, with, without being judgmental. My question is, why? I, I, I'm trying to find a better way to ask, but yeah, my question is just why? Is it that important? Now, we need to find the code for that. I'm sorry, I was on such a rant, but that just needed to, to get out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what do you think? Oh, there we go. That's probably what it is. Yeah. I mean, do you really think any of the questions they got would have been easily answered. And it's like, you know, let's ask a question about the monetization. So post-sale monetization, once the reviews are out, are you going to release items that we would consider pay to win? Go, go answer that. 
I understand you're new here, but you need to remember the door code to the healing suites is 451. Don't forget it, as we have a VIP recovering from neurosurgery and Edward Diego, head of operations on station, seems to be anxious about them waking up. With that in mind, please let me know immediately if there's a change in our guest's condition. 451. Oh, I thought I, I get to use it. 451. Whoa! You know, this should not have startled me. Because that's exactly where he is in the first. Because of course he is. <laughs> but it did startle me. Fuck you! And you too, you could have warned me. There. Uh, speaking of ChatGPT, um, did you see that video? The one of my favorite lawyers just. Citadel Station. We hope your somnolent healing stage went well. Today is the sixth day of November, year two o seven two. You are currently in the healing suites, located on the first level. Level 2 contains the research laboratories. 3 houses the Department of Maintenance. And the storage cells are on level 4. The flight deck is on level 5. Le le level 6 holds crew facilities and executive suites. And level 7 is systems engineering. Level 8 houses the Department of Security. The bridge is located on level 9 and energy systems on level R. All levels can be accessed by the elevator in, in, in Alpha Quadrant. We hope you have a pleasant stay on Citadel Station. So there's definitely something on the other side. Yeah, this is very reminiscent of the original. I really like this. But, um... Oh. You know, I would love Dark Tide if if it wouldn't be such a pile of crap still. There's definitely something on the other side. But I, I heard it. but it runs like one and I'm just not okay with being a beta tester for a full price game don't release a game that's not ready to be released Check. or oh jeez ha huh. run out of bullets I know that Oh, sure, now I don't have room. I should have not taken all this trash with me. <laughs> Wait, what? Can I not use this? Oh, it's of course it's damaged. Uh, how, how do I... Take on. Hey, MHF. Yep, good, good idea, actually. You know, I just noticed that with my new hands and... Well, that, that was unfair. I had my hands off the keyboard. Oof. Boom goes the, goes the head. Okay, hold on. Let me just take this one down before I... There's another, isn't there? No. No. <laughs> it's only the demo. Only the demo, Ketna. Because I never played the demo. 
I waited with playing the demo until it came out because I was very curious. And I suspect you already finished that probably. And yeah, Bolt Gun. I feel mixed about Bolt Gun. I want to love it. But it's just, I don't like it. It's, I love the graphics. I don't like the effects. What I mean is, it feels like you can't even see the enemies because it's just, there are so many effects on the screen. And I kind of hate that. And I'm like, I would love to see a demo of that and see if I would actually enjoy it because I'm not overly confident. And ooh, 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 what was that? A sudden performance death. I also think this is an older version. This demo is probably... There, okay. I'm gonna throw stuff away. You won. Now I have a weapon. But I would love to play a demo. Because I feel like that is a game that needs to convince me. And unfortunately, if I'm not mistaken, there is no demo yet. Okay, Shaky. Serious question. What kind of pizza? This is, this is a very important question. Level security is now 84%. Showdown's been stretched too thin. With Showdown controlling or monitoring every system on the station, it isn't surprising to see her built-in security subroutine showing its flaws. As of now, it is randomly sealing storage lockers and storing the code to access them in cyber cores that are only accessible via cyberspace. Throwing this useless information into the same cores as sensitive station information will create an exploit. I'll have Shodan generate defensive systems to keep any would-be hackers away until the issue is sorted. <laughs> what? what? Oh, you're not talking about pizza delivery. Someone is going and purchasing pizza. You can gain higher access and open locked areas. Cyberspace! Oh, I love that. Oh my god, that is so sexy. That is so 90s. Yay! Oh, okay. Our delivery should be here soon, I hope. Because... We might not have ordered groceries in a few weeks. Oh yeah, this, this is fun. I like this. Yeah, we also have a delivery incoming, or maybe it's even already here. Because we didn't order in several weeks. I think it's now been four weeks since we ordered. Because we wanted to make sure, you know, just use up the old stuff. You know how it is, whenever you get an order, you always shove new stuff in. And we cleaned out the freezer and everything. Now this is maybe a bit loud. There.
There, I think that's a bit better. Uh, let me know if it's still too loud. Um, that's always the downside with demos. You don't really have time to adjust them in advance. <laughs> but yeah, we didn't order in like three or four weeks. And we... We use a lot of Mio. You know, drink enhancers because we make our own drinks at home because we're lazy. <laughs> or I just don't want to carry cans, I think is the better answer. And... So with Mio and all the refill and we need it and everything, it turned out to be like a $600 order. We're getting $600 in groceries from Walmart. I mean, yeah, given a lot of it is frozen and a lot of it is long storage stuff and cans and jars and... But that is where I actually appreciate delivery. Because... I don't want to carry that stuff. <laughs> I, I, uh, he, he probably does. I make sure to always give him like a good review <laughs> when um, the, the feedback thing comes because you know how most people just ignore that. I make sure every time that he gets a good feedback. <laughs> I feel like that's the least I can do after you <sighs> shove so many groceries in. What is shooting? It's coming from up here. Oh, are you telling me? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's stuck in there. Well, I don't think we need it. Uh, I can't tip them. It's Walmart policy because they are full-time employees. And uh, when you do that specific service, you can't actually tip them. I mean, I, I, th I think they have to reject money if you would give it directly. I don't know. But it it states that you, you're not meant to tip them. No, wait, that is where we came from. Oh, but that is new, isn't it? Or is that where we came from? Here's a fun fact for you. I don't play Descent anymore. Because I am really good at navigating in 2D space. I am really good with recognizing where I am in 2D space. But put me in a 3D space like this and I'm lost. But the soundtrack is good. Do I have to keep going in this direction? <laughs> hey, DJ! Yes, it is. Um, well, it's demo day today. So this is the System Shock demo. I held off on playing it. Oh, wait. Where are you? I held off on playing it because, in all honesty, I didn't believe it would ever come out. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably not something I should tell Ketna, who's a huge fan of that. But I just, I didn't believe this would ever happen. And I didn't want to get excited for a game that I know won't be a thing. So today, we're doing a demo day. And as part of that, as the, the last game, actually. Because all the other demos were very animal-focused. Including the one where all the animals exploded upon death. Still don't get that one, but it was fun. <laughs> but yeah, I just used this as a last demo to close the day. And we're currently in the 90s cyberspace. Because, you see, that is what people that were born later on don't recognize. This is what the internet looked like to us in the 90s. It only got boring later on. Am I meant to shoot this or am I just... Oh, 
this, this, I love these effects. It's just, this has a really interesting graphical style. Do I have to fly in? What happens if I fly in? Nothing. Oh, I have to right click it. I do wish it would tell you. I don't want to sound like a, a modern gamer that needs to be handheld and that wants his pop-up tutorials. But you know, if I get close, just give me a little hint of press right to... Okay, where am I going? What am I meant to do? Mm. Oh, I thank you for the head pets and for the color. Always a favorite. There, maybe I can align and fly. Oh my god, this is good. I like this. Though it hasn't helped me find the exit to just trail around in this color light show thing. It's not around the center. Do I not have anything hinting at... I can't shoot this, can I? No. Okay, let's see if I remember right, uh, the exit was not one of these walls. Yes, here it is. So I suppose maybe I just have to leave? No, it doesn't want me to leave. Then let's check all the other walls. Yeah, I have the navigational skills of a goldfish. Don't put me in 3D space, please. <laughs> Um, there we go. Yeah, I mean, this is what 90% of AOL looked like. Okay, but what did I do? What did I do? Did I just open that one door that... Where was it? It wasn't down here, it was over here. Um, was it this one? Yes, I think it was this button. No, this button over here. Nope, still doesn't work. Oh. Is it a heating coil? I know, I'm fascinated by the weirdest things, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I know, it's... See... This is my issue with playing games on stream, that sometimes I just love to admire these things and I always feel like this has to be so boring to people. And you know what? Then yesterday, Seek raided Muscle, who, um, by the way, if, if you could give Muscle down there a shout out, if you don't mind, um, since I know Eternal is here. And... Uh, uh, not muscle. We didn't raid muscle. We raid Overloan. But uh, muscle de definitely deserves a shout out. And Overloan was currently playing Zelda, the the Switch, the first one. 
and was searching for the one missing item. Had 839 of 840 on the map that he used to go through to make sure that he has them all and one was missing. And it took him one and a half hours to search through this whole map. One and a half hours to go through every single one and essentially mark it off his list a second time. And by the end, he made it to the last one. Uh, yeah, he, he was using, he wasn't using a guide. He was using a website to essentially check off which ones he has. And 840 were checked off, but he only had 839. And he checked, like, it took him one and a half hours to go through this. And after one and a half hours, he just, it, it still wasn't correct. And you know what? He, he didn't give up and he didn't care. He, he, he will just load an earlier save game and do it again. So if anything is dedication, yes. That, that was at the end of like a six and a half hour stream. I want that. I want this dedication because I'll tell you a secret. When I get stuck in a game and I spend like half an hour and I get frustrated, I just want to quit. I just want to move on. Usually that's when I hit like the four hour mark and I want to quit the stream. I want this dedication and uh, that's why I kind of mix it up because after that I watched Muscle who is exactly the same. Who much like Avi is willing to slam his head into the same level for hours on end until done. And I want that. I it's I envy that. I mean seek you're the, you're the same way. Uh you play games that I wish I could finish. I'm hopelessly lost. I have a hat. I should just um, make this a, a permanent hat redeem. Let's follow the right wall. Let's follow the right wall. That always works somehow. Yeah, that is a thing. I don't need to purchase anything. You know what, maybe maybe it is that time, maybe it is just the time to wrap up and move on, because let's face it, looking at this, <laughs> I want the game. We already know I want the game, I've seen what the combat feels like, I see what this looks like, oh this is where we go. I want this game. Oh, that's a fun weapon. But yeah, I think this is a good, a good time to wrap this game up because I do need to buy this game, period. And that might be a game to play on stream. Or maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, it's... It is a very good demo. I think all the games today, with one exception... Let me switch out of here so I have the list up again and then I will actually link them again but yeah let's see what did we go through today we had the the golden record retriever that was the first one that was the single Korean dev no I don't know if he was single that wasn't the single one um, some, you know, interesting translation issues, but outside of that, amazing game. I really enjoyed it. That is on my wish list. The second game we had was the single death one. That was Chasing the Unseen. That is already on my wish list because, yep, that is definitely also a very, very fun game. Uh, then we had Snowscapes, the one about the exploding animals. 
I'll, I think I'll wait for release. I mean, it's on my wish list, so I can track it. But I think I'm gonna wait for the release because I still don't know what it is. I just know that we pushed buttons and then animals exploded and foxes had sex and I don't know. Then we had Paw Paw Destiny. The one that I had to mute myself several times in because I did start crying. I'm just open and I admit that, Jesus Christ, I hate games like that and I love them. I will probably not play that on stream, but I will make sure that Evie is aware of that. Because I feel like that's a game that he would probably love to play. And then last but not least, we had System Shock. When did that demo even come out? That demo came out so long ago. I don't even know anymore. But yeah, that game came out May 30th. So... Yesterday. And already has 93% positive. I think that's a good sign. But yeah, um, I do want to give a... Quick shout out just to, because... Th that dedication yesterday needs to be um, put on people's radar. If you are not following over Lone Wolf, check them out. If you don't mind a very chill stream, I mean, that's the only thing I've seen from him yesterday. Check it out. Amazing streamer. And of course, um, we had Muscle earlier. We had Seek earlier. Always very important. And a uh, if you're not following him, I don't know how you can't possibly not be following him. Then please also follow Eternal Fam. He is an amazing bean. He is one of the biggest helpers in getting the Discord up that we created, where we do our best to help streamers get ready post guides and just we want to do more co-op so if you're interested in co-op streams hop on in say hi don't be shy you know it, we're here to help if you you know if you're a small streamer or if you want to start say hi that's what we're here for but with that i think it's a good time to wrap it up and Let's see who we're going to do today. I think I have a good target. Because I... I don't even know who they raided yesterday that... I was watching. But they are an adorable floof. And... I think I'm going to send you over to them. So if you don't know, Cappy... Cappy the Floof is currently playing Jurassic World Evolution 2 and is a fantastic bean. So I think that is a very good place to be. And yeah, MHF, you enjoy your dinner. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for, well, being the amazing beans you are. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. I'll be back on Friday. I don't know what I'm gonna play yet. Um, I should probably really, really get back to Vampire and Ghostbusters, but you know who knows. Let's let's be open. We're we're gender fluid. We're species fluid. This week I'm gonna be game fluid too. <laughs> so with that, <laughs> oh, there we go. Bye bye. I love you all. <laughs> <laughs>